We just wanted to go for a hike around the lake. Alrighty, so it's just Seattle? Yeah. Hey, welcome back to the Invisible Advocate. We're on this beautiful Vicky Barron Trail, an island lake conservation area. With head injuries, there's no hard answer. There's no exact way to cure a head injury. We often get sent to these clinics where the idea is to simulate how to get back into regular life. And we try and work on our vestibular systems and all these other aspects, trying to simulate the situation that you're trying to encounter when you get back into life. For me, it didn't work. Those clinic scenarios and that training made me feel so sick that that's all I could do. I would go to the clinic and then I would have to recover in a dark room for hours and days until I was back into the clinic again. And it made my quality of life terrible. And I'm not saying that the clinic doesn't work, but it's not a hard answer and it's not the only answer. For me, what's worked best is just going out and experiencing life, knowing that I'm gonna to have to recover, but at least I get to go and have those experiences. We often think people have given up and that they're not trying anymore because you're not being supervised by a doctor in these simulations of regular life. When in reality, it, what works best for me and a bunch of other people I've met is just participating in life and preparing for what's going to be triggering and knowing that you're going to recover afterwards. And then you get the benefit of experiencing life. And that's what it's about. And I think as we get older, we become so much more afraid to try things and we become so much more sheltered and I think that as we get older it's more important to try those things that make us nervous and that scare us because if we stop doing them now then we're never going to do them. We don't stop playing because we grow old. We grow old because we stop playing and it's so important to make sure that we get out and we try things and it's okay if the clinics don't work because you can just try it in regular life and then have those benefits of experiencing and seeing friends and doing things that make you happy and bring you joy. Brain injuries are like fingerprints and snowflakes, each one unique to each other. It's important to listen to medical professionals, but also to advocate for yourself and know that there are certain things that work for you that don't necessarily work for others. Let's keep smashing those misconceptions. Get outside, chase life, and make this the best day ever.